guys welcome back to my channel my name is Brenda Mang and welcome to my little space so uh, in the wedding series episode four is it episode four no idea Oops. no idea right let's start from the start first one was the wish second one was i went and tried an actual wedding dresses third one was uh, the luxury african show so it's episode number four i told you Bruh. You, you told me it's episode four but you said you don't remember <laughs> lies you tell anyways so episode number four and what are we going to do we are going to try on some wedding dresses again yay so a lot of you guys from feedback from the first video of me trying on wedding dresses um some of y'all were snapping me saying why didn't you try like mermaid shaped dresses and to in all honesty i did try the dresses but they never made it out of the changing room because they didn't have sizes that were big enough to fit my bum and hips so you know it didn't quite sit right it just squeezed everything and it didn't look good to even show to anyone so I was like Rah. so I watched a vlog the other day of someone else going wedding dress shopping and um, I saw them in uh, David's bridal but in America so my husband was the one that actually told me that David's bridal there's one in UK there's one in Birmingham where we live um not near but obviously we we're local to it so anyways there was one in birmingham so that's where we made an appointment and that's where we're going so as always i hope they let me um take some videos and if they don't let me take some videos i'm gonna take some videos on the sly okay <laughs> but i hope they have what i want because that's my aim now i want to try on a super fitted um mermaid dress and um hopefully they have sizes because there's nothing worse than trying on a size 6 dress when you're a size 16 because you're not really going to get the real per perception of how it's going to look on you if it's not your size so that's a tip for all y'all wedding dress boutiques and shops and things like that y'all need to start stocking bigger sizes because i can't put one leg into a size 6 and then go out and be like oh we can hide we can order a size 16 for you like but i don't know what it looks like on me so how am i going to order it but anyways that's neither here nor there so i hope you guys enjoy and just you know a shameless plug i have a hairline now y'all i mean look at this hair I am wearing majestic lengths uh, so check it out I'm gonna leave all the links down below and it's majesticlengths.com I'm currently rocking body wave but I just blue drew blue drew blue dried <laughs> I blow dried it straight <laughs> majestic lengths there's a website you can order we ship worldwide so if you want to check it out do check it out and if you want a wig made you can just hit me up in the dms either on instagram or on snapchat and i can do that for you and i'll be adding that service to the website pretty soon so do check it out do buy your majestic okay natural color super lustrous hair it's literally fit for a queen <laughs> yeah i said it okay bye <laughs>
It's got a train on Yeah. And it's super, super light. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm rain. I like this one. What do you think about this I think it's nice. It's got the. Yeah. I think it's got the little blingy. Oh, these are yeah. Little yeah. yeah. I like it. You like it? Have a quick look, see if what it looks like with the band. Yeah. Yeah. Was it easy to get into though? Hmm? Was it easy to get into? Yeah, I just stepped into it and it's very fun. So that's why you should have started on there. Oh! I'm going to show you what the ball is made in with the picture. Do you like the sparkle on it? I definitely think you need that. Definitely. It makes a difference. Because the look, like, if you point it down and you soften it, all that's doing then is like, oh, all right, down to the nose part. Which is what you want to do in a mermaid, you just want to highlight that. And you can tell that would be the one without you having to stain it because of the, it's like a staple of the rosé. It's like a signature. Yeah. It's beautiful. I've been even trying to have second thoughts now and make it my own. Okay, we'll see how the other way Yeah. I really thought I wanted something that's nice and simple, but this is me. What's your first dress? Um, I can show you. That's beautiful. This is nice. The illusion work. This one is good. I don't know if I would want a short one. I think it's nice. Yeah. It's a nice reception. Yeah. Do a, little, do a little walk from there so I can take a shot. I know your mum would want to see it, so. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not my face, but I mean, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? Let me have a look. I like the colour as well. <laughs> what do you think? Is that what? Yeah. I don't know, I feel like it's something that my mom would like. But I, I think that in high heels, huh? will you be wearing high heels? Yeah. I think it would look way better in high heels. <laughs> I can already judge how you feel by the smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. You like it? I think it's very receptioning. Very receptioning. Yeah. 
How do you feel in it? How does that feel? I like this one. I think this is good. Yeah, I like it. Just wanting this to be a little bit more. Yeah, so again, alterations. You have a chat with them and just say, this is what I want. Yeah. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Like, I like it a lot. Very yeah. Much, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I, like I think it's nice. I think it does look So, with that one, like I said, you have to just go for that next one just so you don't have that restriction there. Um, so with this one, because it's designer, it would be the case of if we can get it designed. You get 10% off. Oh, focus, camera, focus. There we go. Okay, so basically, I've just come back. Um, we've just finished the appointment with David Bridal. David's Bridal. We've just finished it. And um, basically, to be honest, I was super, super disappointed. Um... I was looking for that dress, um, like a mermaid style dress, and it was meant to be like my reception dress, because obviously at this point, I already have my ceremony dress, so I was looking for the mermaid style for my reception dress. Now, I gave her a budget of a thousand pounds, and um, she took my size and everything, like she measured me in the store, and checked what uh, styles they have available for me to try that are mermaid style. And literally we came up with about the dresses that you saw, how many were those? Like four? Yeah, four. And only and one of them wasn't even a mermaid style. The other that, that other one that I said it looks like an my mom some my mom would wear was an an A-line type of sheath column dress. So I literally tried on three dresses. I would have just tried on two, but I had to get her to get the other one because it was over a thousand pounds. So I'm actually thinking like, what about people that don't have a budget for um, over a thousand pounds? Because that's a lot of money for a dress. And if that was my one dress that I'm buying and I don't want to go over a thousand pounds and I want a mermaid style dress, um, given that I'm bigger, maybe that makes it a little bit more difficult, but you would imagine that they would carry more sizes so now y'all know that the mermaid style dress is a struggle in bridal shops now from instagram obviously you can get it made by um designers especially american ones but there's really good designers here in um england um sorry i just i just, I just my wig there <laughs> um majestic lengths okay get into it but um there is Yinka Ali, um, Alonuko, um, there is a few people that make you custom uh, bridal orders, so the options are there. Again, it's quite costly because I, I think I spoke to one of those before. Um, there's El Cabino as well, and all of them quoted me for what I wanted, which was a simple mermaid style dress um with not too much going on because i'm not very busy i don't like my styles to be very busy and they quoted me all starting at like 1200 pounds so i guess when it comes to wedding dresses that's the budget that you just what are you doing sir Ugh. people who just force like name and shame well you can't even see that anyways that was just bad driving so anyway that's where we're at i'm hot and i'm sweaty from trying on all but four dresses i'm super disappointed that there wasn't that many for me to show you guys that were my size but again you get used to it i've been trying on dresses for a while and i knew that mermaid style dresses you're not going to get them in store to try on for your size they will order one in for you um but to get one in store is very very hard so hopefully if you're wedding dress shopping and you're in england um if you're smaller than me definitely david bridal would do the thing but bear in mind i only asked for mermaid style if they were kind of like the classic ball gowns i'm sure you would have more sizes so i'm talking simply for mermaid style dresses with a budget of less than a thousand pounds because it is my second dress after all um my first dress blew my budget out of the water so we have to keep it 
a little bit less than a thousand pounds because I can't spend so much money on wedding dresses that I'm gonna wear once so that was the final review of David's bridal in Birmingham so I mean if you're in America you're better off because the vlog that I saw the girl's budget was $500 y'all and she she tried on bear dresses and I'll link her video below as well um, so that you can check it out just for context and she tried on loads of memory style dresses that were beautiful and they didn't even have them here so it's kind of like mwah, mwah, mwah. but I think this is the last installment of wedding dress shopping because at this point three months until the wedding man's got a dress okay and if i need a reception dress i'm gonna have to look to get it custom made because buying it in stores is not the one so let's close this out i speak really loudly let's just close this out i've been talking for five minutes <laughs> let's just close this out and i'll see you guys in the next one so thank you very much for hanging with me sorry the exposure keeps changing obviously we're driving the lighting keeps changing anyways this is bye